Welcome, my viewers and my listeners of the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I'm your presenter, Pastor Florence Miner, all the way from Minnesota, USA. Today is Thursday when I bring you Celebrating in the Kitchen with Pastor Florence. First and foremost, I want to thank God for the gift of life. I also want to thank God for the gift of creativity. I also thank God for the gift of being mindful not to throw or to just waste anything. So stay with me today, being Thursday. When I bring you celebration in the kitchen, I must say, I, I always like to say this, I am not the best, but I'm available. I'm not the most qualified, but I'm available. I don't have the best ki elegant kitchen, but it's available to do something. With that in mind, I want to remind you, my viewer and my listener, whatever it you have, whatever gifting you have, whatever creativity you have, it is good we use. And when you, God gives us something, know that he has given you so that you can be a blessing to somebody else. Because we are blessed with the Abrahamic blessing. Many times we pray, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, you know, God blessed Abraham and told him, you'll be a blessing to many. So whatever idea you have, don't just stay with it. Share with other people. That's why a time like today, I bring what I am bringing. My weekly schedules are Monday through Wednesday. I bring you inspirational word. That's this like today, celebrating in the kitchen with Pastor Florence. Fridays or tomorrow, putting on the right gear for the weekend. For today, for today, I'm going to be bringing, demonstrating what you can use with the leftovers. And mindful of not using Anything you have, try to improvise in Jesus' name. Also, as you can see, I have a new out, uh, outlook of the t-shirt. This t-shirt, it's written, celebrate your moment with joy. And there it says, thus far, the Lord has brought us. And it is derived from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 7, verse 12. This was the theme for the seventh year anniversary. It has taken the grace of God for me to be doing what I do for seven years. I cannot do this without your prayers. I can never do this without your participation. I can never do this without your encouragement. What does that mean? I value you very much, your input, your challenges, where you feel I'm not going low, right? And you tell me, I am normally very open to correction. Why? Only a fool shut themselves to knowledge and knowledge is power in Jesus' name. Let us start with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you. I want to adore you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of hands that we can use them. Thank you for the gift of creativity. Thank you, dear Father, for all that you've given us around us. We can use it, Lord God Almighty, to be a blessing to somebody. Use me for the time I'm going to be here in the kitchen. And I pray for my few and my listener. And they may get something that will bless them and help them, even to be a blessing to other people in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. First and foremost, I always say, practice good hard hygiene. I've already washed my hands. But as a reminder, as a mentor, it is good to do that. And I always say, try to use warm, soapy water when you wash. Make sure you wash at the back, you know, in the middle of the fingers. Then you wipe yourself. And maybe you are still wondering what we are doing here. Okay. So, an idea just came. My house people have different things they do. Just met some of them. I'm going to reserve their names. They were juicing ginger. This is the leftover of ginger. When you bread with a breading, with a juicer, juicing it, you don't remove even the outer cover. Okay, okay? you don't have to peel it. And the end result of the juicing is this, put in a big container. This is ginger. And I requested, <laughs> actually, I'm sorry. Sorry for exposure. <laughs> I met my son making it. God bless him, Moses. And I told him, please give me a, con a, a little bit of it. <laughs> and he did. This will take me a wrong way and have saved my time. I thank God for my family, okay? But why I am bringing this is, I saw him dumping and I said, wait a minute. I think that would, I did not even have any idea. I think that can be used. That was the first round. The second round, I told him, don't waste it. Give it to me. Put it aside. And I put it in a, in a pitcher. Put it in a pitcher and I boiled water. I boiled water. 
this i'm doing a second round for your sake that's how much i love you so maybe you're ordering up after this and what is she making i'm making ginger juice out of the leftovers of the juiced ginger okay the first round the second round this is the second round and it is so good now here this is hot water and this i've never done again but i thought wow this is an opportunity so what that what that means is uh, please be a person who is on the lookout already the first lot was was dumped i don't was a bit on the past but you, what can you use now imagine because when you are juicing you have to create time then you save you, you create time and then save more time in the future he was juicing a lot so you can see all this is a leftover the, ju juice is, this is dry this juice this juice ginger juice came from here the squeezed one and now i told him do not throw it away and then i come i've already done uh <clears throat> what i did i filtered and now after filtering you can imagine this is what was to be thrown there but it's okay because he didn't know okay not many people know if i use this one i have to test it before i bring here and i'm gonna put it into a container that you can see well so i tasted this one okay and i tell you it's strong and my dew this is after the processed one. This, the strong shot, and this is the diluted shot. If you add here a little bit of apple cider vinegar, I like the brags, but whichever is here, I'm going to use a little bit of it. Just like maybe quarter teaspoon is what I've just used. The reason I don't want to make much is because I have realized I am out of honey. Because I'm out of honey, I'm going to make just a little bit so that I demonstrate and I tell you what I'm tasting. There you go. Here's another one. Instead of throwing a bottle of honey that is done, that there's no honey. Just use, it, use hot water to so use. It's going to melt, melt. My dear, this I'm doing because of you, because I love you, so that you know what to do. There you go. I will mix with this. this. There is a little bit of apple cider, honey, and then ginger. See? Uh oh. Full cup. Let me taste it. It is good. That honey was more than I thought. It is good. Imagine. Out of ginger that was juiced, these leftovers, I'm not even going to do them all. I'm going to store them in the freezer and I'll be using it later on. Making use of every opportunity, making use of everything you have in the house, wisely, improvising. You know, actually, God is the one who started recycling. He does not want us to waste if anything. And that's why this now going back a little bit, you find that for those people who are older, let me take another one, it's so good. When you, with every place, piece of land, if you planted like potatoes, English potatoes, that part, you rotate. Next season, you can plant like maize. And the legumes, those um, rotted stuff, roots of, uh, uh, of potatoes, they are manure. So what am I saying? Everything that God created was meant to be used and reused. But we have to use our time, our creativity. And that way, we recycle. God origin, is the origin of recycling. So don't just waste and things like that and as i'm finishing i want to make sure i'll show you what would have been put into the trash already some was and i was talking to a colleague and he also told me that at, at work he told me that all that he uses in the house he put it in a in a place and just add water and make it just stay there and then he uses to for the his run instead of going to 
to, you know, to buy the fertilizer for their own. Imagine, I didn't even know. So this coming season, I'll be doing that. So, you know, what a mighty God we have. What a good God he is. He has given us idea. Let us not use our just ideas to waste them. Let us not just waste the ideas because my hands were clean. Let me just use the hands. It's, it's, it's a faster and then I'm not going to waste a lot of your time because all I wanted you to know is that don't just waste anything. I went to visit a, a, a couple, uh, a family in another state and uh, we were making some oatmeal porridge and I used also the lemon and after we used the lemon juice the, the, the lemon juicer, squeezer, I told them after you squeeze the lemon, don't waste it, boil it. That's another teaching for another day. Maybe we can do that and demonstrate. But briefly today, what I was doing was, these are to show you that if tofas can be very, very helpful and save time and very economical. Whatever we think is expensive to eat healthy, it is not expensive if we improvise. Gingers are very expensive. But see what... Came out of ginger. I don't know how many whatever packets they use of ginger. But now out of that, look at what I'm gaining. Look, this I'll be getting more juice. Ginger juice here. Yes. Now I'm gonna put it in the freezer for another time. Just like the Bible says in the book of Proverbs. Go to the end and we'll see what they do. They store for the winter during the summer. My winter is the time that I'll be making. Oh, this juice. And another thing about ginger, it's full of zinc. And you need zinc, my brother, my sister. Every treatment with COVID, they encourage people to have a lot of, you know, me, uh, 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 zinc. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a motivated person to eat healthy and to do things. And I thank God that my family is following the route too. So anyway, in other words, let us not waste what we have. Today is about ginger juice out of the leftovers of the juiced ginger now this is very very strong out of this maybe i can get like three bottles how about this this is not mine i have to be careful to stick with the one i have and now i am adding and i pray that whatever you have in your house see what can i use you know even storage bags to be honest with you unless it is so much used me i don't just throw i clean them and put them aside and i'll use them again we must be good stewards of whatever God has given us. Because nothing we have of our own is God who gives us. Even when we go to work, it is God who gives us the strength to go and work. The Bible, the Bible states very clearly in the book of Deuteronomy that it is God who teaches our hand to make wealth. And I love the singer who sang and said, now, the few dollars I would have used to go and buy ginger to make ginger juice, see what happened. I took advantage of it. Now, from now, henceforth, because most of the time they juice when I'm not here, they will never throw it away. They will keep it. I'll come. You don't have to do this for me. And I will do it. And I will keep it. And we'll keep going because we have to be good stewards of what God has given us in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. I pray for my viewer and my listener that they will benefit and that new ideas will come. That they will be making use of every opportunity and everything you give them. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If, if you like this channel, you know, subscribe it. Share with other people. Practice what you have seen. If you are wasting things now, do not waste them anymore now that you have run from me. Like, okay? I'm mentoring you in the kitchen. If you live around, come over. We have a cook day, especially during summer. And we see what we can get. Maybe you are going to bring me a lot of ideas. Now I have thrown my idea, uh, this idea to my children. They are not going to be wasting it away. And I also mentioned to them, it is good whatever we do, we try to put black paper it because it helps to uh, everything to be observed well in our, new, in our bodies. May God bless you. I love you. God loves you the most. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Remember to pray for me. How do you pray for Pastor Florence? EGR, extra grace required, so that I can be able to deliver the messages that God downloads in my soul. May the Lord God bless you. Remember Every moment counts. Every moment matters. That's why you should celebrate it with joy. Thank you.